Once upon a time, there was a family of Spanish peasants who worked the land in the mountains north of the Andalusian city of Malaga. Their name was Romero, and they lived in hillside villages like Totolan, Moclinejo, and Potron. They toiled by day, and in the evenings they enjoyed singing and dancing the local fandango called a Verdiales. But one day, José López Romero decided that this was no longer the life for him, and he made his way down to Malaga. Though only a boy of 14, he found construction work and eventually became a very successful builder. He married and had several children, including a son who would become one of the most eminent classical guitarists of the 20th century, Celedonio Romero. And Celedonio would eventually marry and have three sons who became virtuosos in their own right. After moving to California in 1957, they formed the Romero Guitar Quartet, becoming world famous not only as an ensemble, but also as soloists. Angel left the quartet in 1990 to devote more time to solo recitals and conducting. Celine's son, Celino, took his place, and with the passing of Celedonio in 1996, Angel's son, Lito, joined the quartet. Thus, these two gifted grandsons have kept the Romero Guitar Quartet alive during the second half of its remarkable history.
I am Pepe Romero. I cannot tell you how moved, deeply touched I am to see how many wonderful guitar players, musicians, friends, and people all over the world have joined my family and I in doing this tribute to the guitar quartet, to my family, to my roots. A hundred and three years ago, a little boy went to the mountains of Malaga with his mother, where she was from, in Jotron. That little boy was five years old, and he was my father. In that village, he taught himself how to be a great virtuoso of the guitar. Sixty years ago, my father, my two brothers, and I joined in a concert to celebrate the family and the unity that the guitar brought to us. We played his Malagueñas. That was the first guitar quartet. And this year, to celebrate that memory, I wanted to compose something based on his Malagueñas. And I wrote Malagueñas de Jotron, inviting whoever wanted to join us in this celebration. It is deeply moving to me to see the finished result and to feel the warmth and the unity of the guitar that this film we just watched bring us. Thank you all. 